it's summertime and a lot of y'all are getting ready to go on vacation let me share with you five fragrances i think you need to take with you on your next vacation stay tuned family, frag heads, fragrance lovers and friends. My name is Amanda Marie and over here I love to discuss all things fragrance. If you're someone that is into fragrance, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become a part of my family. Before we get into the video, I do want to give you guys the deets on this hair. I have been rocking it for a few days now. This was sent to me from Love Me Hair. Thank you, Love Me Hair. This is their 13 by 4 13 by 4 uh, lace front wig. The color is like a natural black color which I do like. Usually I go for like a 1 or a 1B but this I do like this color um, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave it. But the wig comes already pre-plugged which I love because I don't know how to plug wigs. Okay, You can wear this wig glueless if you want to. I actually have a little glue right here. It takes me a few minutes to put this wig on and go. I love this wig. The hair feels so soft. I mean, these curls are the curls that came with the wig. I have not put a um, curling iron to this wig yet, but of course, you guys absolutely know that you can. So it's pretty thick, as you guys can see. It's pretty, pretty full and thick. I just absolutely love this wig. I think this is one of the most natural looking wigs that I've ever had. Usually I go for more synthetic wigs because they're easier for me. They're already like shaped. I never have to glue them down. They just, you know, kind of lay flat. So I have had a tendency to stay away from human hair wigs because I just don't know how you girls do the magic that y'all do. Like I haven't learned those tricks yet on how to really lay my wigs down and pluck and all those good things. So I love that the wig comes ready for me to wear. It is just amazing. I did not have to pluck this wig at all. Honey, cause y'all know when you pluck, you can over pluck, you can mess some stuff up. So I love this wig. Again, everything will be linked down below in the description box. Thank you, love me hair. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five fragrances that I think are worthy to take on a vacation. These fragrances are very tropical. Now, I don't have a lot of tropical fragrances in my collection, even though I do love a good tropical scent, honey. But the ones I do have, I think are really nice. And not all of them are gonna be like your fruity, mango, coconutty type of vibes. Some of them are gonna be a little bit floral, but they do remind me of something very tropical tropical as a very vacation like these fragrances the first fragrance i want to talk about is from the house of jean paul gautier now, i think this fragrance was limited edition i'm pretty sure that it was limited edition but you never know you can find it maybe online with macy's i actually bought mine from macy's but i bought it in store and i love the shape of the bottle that was one of the reasons why I bought it. Y'all should never buy fragrances because of the bottles. That's just ridiculous. Like, come on now. But I have, you know, a little collection of the little silhouettes uh, bottles that come like this. So I was like, you know what? I had a few extra dollars on the side. I said, why not? I actually love the fragrance now. When I first bought it, I wasn't in love with it, but now that the fragrance has sat for a while, you guys know I talked about that before in a previous video, sometimes you do have to spray your fragrances and just let them sit for a minute. And when I tell you they perform so different, they smell better in my opinion. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This reminds me of something very tropical but it doesn't have the coconut the fruity you know fragrances that actually make a fragrance smell tropical if that makes sense there's only three notes listed according to fragrantica it is water lily iris and vanilla now y'all know jean paul gautier i don't think they like all their notes listed for their fragrances because i think they want to cut down on people trying to like dupe them and stuff like that that's my theory on it i could be totally wrong but i know there's more notes in this fragrance than just water lily iris and vanilla like come on it smells way too 
It doesn't smell complicated, but it smells like there's way more going on than what they got listed on Fragrantica. I get this beautiful, sweet, kind of watery type of note from this fragrance, which I feel like is the water lily. The water lily is very fresh. I could totally see myself wearing this fragrance on vacation. If I'm sitting poolside, man, this fragrance will go off. I think initially when I first got this fragrance, I felt like it was a little bit too heady for me. But now that it has sat for a while, it's, it's not, it's toned down. The water lily has toned down and I actually love this fragrance. I'm so happy that I went with my first mind and bought it because it is absolutely beautiful. It's fresh, it's powdery, it's sweet, it's aquatic in a way, but not ocean, okay? Not sea water, it's like poolside water. That is exactly how I would describe it. Like you just took a dip in the pool and you have on a little suntan lotion and you can smell like the water from the pool mixing in with the suntan lotion. Maybe you have on a little bit of a vanilla type of fragrance. Like all of that is mixing together really well and it's just really really beautiful so I would highly highly recommend it if you have this fragrance make you a little decant girl and take it with you on vacation I promise you you will enjoy it I think it's gonna go so well with the vacation vibes I don't know if I mentioned this when I started talking about this fragrance but this is a flanker of La Belle but this is Flora Terrible by Jean-Paul Gaultier so now we're going to get into a fragrance that definitely gives me those tropical feels. And this is Moonlight in Heaven by Killian. Y'all know I love me some Killian. And I've mentioned this before in videos whenever I talk about this fragrance. I feel like this was reformulated. I'm not 100% sure though. Because the very first time, when did this fragrance come out? It, yeah, it came out in 2016 and that's when I smelled it. I happened to be in Saks this one particular day and the uh, sales associate was passing out samples. Well, I don't know if she was passing them out. This is before I think I even purchased my first Killian. I've always had an infatuation with them, but I didn't have a coin back then. But um, she was generous enough and gave me a sample of Moonlight in Heaven. And I loved it. I loved it. For some reason, I don't remember the fragrance smelling tropical. I feel like it smelled a little bit more masculine to me, but I don't remember it smelling tropical. This definitely gives me all the tropical vibes, okay? In this fragrance, you're gonna get grapefruit, pink pepper, lemon. In the mid, you get mango, coconut, rice, and in the base, you get vetiver and tonka. This fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely an easy grab scent for me. Like I don't ever have to think about it. When I come in here and I just wanna hurry up and grab something, I used to grab for this all the time. And I've wanted to work, I've wanted to bed. I mean, it is absolutely intoxicating. At initial spray, I do pull that grapefruit and it goes so well with the fragrance in my opinion it is zesty okay it is citrusy but it mixes very well with the mango the coconut and that rice note in this fragrance i think why i kind of associate this leaning a little masculine in my opinion could be from the vetiver if you're not familiar with the vetiver it does have a bit of a kind of dryness to it um earthy for sure it smells like a fresh dry earthy could come off smelling kind of soapy because this fragrance does give off like a little soapy vibe you know but i love it and you definitely pick up the mango you definitely pick up the coconut so it's definitely giving me like um, I'm in, am I in Cancun? Where am I, girl? I've been to Cancun before. I don't want to go to Cancun. Hawaii. 
yes when i spray this that's exactly where i am i am in hawaii child with a drink in my hand and hopefully by that time i have a good looking man by my side okay okay come on week let's do something now let's do something but i love this y'all this is moonlight in heaven by killing in mm, chef's kiss i can already see the comments but Amanda, it doesn't last that long. It doesn't last long. Yes, 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 I know it doesn't last. But it doesn't take away from the fact that it smells so damn pretty. And this is Casili from Parfums de Marley. I know it don't last long, y'all. I know, I know y'all ain't got to tell me, honey, but I do not mind. Do I wanna do two? We'll do two. I don't mind respraying this fragrance. I just don't mind. It smells so good because it's so pretty and it's so feminine. I wanna smell girly, I wanna smell delicate. You know what I mean? And this is giving it to me. She's giving me all that and I love it. And it smells very tropical. It smells just like a very beautiful, exotic, tropical, flower that is what Casili smells like to me it's sweet it's creamy oh she's all the things in this fragrance you have notes of red currant floral notes bulgarian rose in the mid you have frangipani plum patilia mimosa and in the base you have vanilla tonka bean and sandalwood she is gorgeous so different from you know her sisters the Delinas she's so different from them I feel like she taps into a different feel you know the Delinas are very rosy okay it's a lot of rose this one is it's a little bit brighter to me well even though the original Delina and I don't even know why I'm comparing this fragrance to Delina. Let me just cut it out. Because they don't smell nothing alike. But I just said all that to say she smells nothing like her sisters. Okay? She's just different. She's just different. A standalone type of scent. I love the creaminess in this fragrance. Which I don't know. It more than likely is from the sandalwood. But it definitely gives me sweet creamy fruity floral tropical goodness and i just love this fragrance still to this day y'all know sometimes i fall in and out of love with fragrances i do i can't help it that's just how things happen most the majority of the fragrances i have in my collection i've already been through the ups and downs and wearing them and i haven't fallen out of love with any of them that's why my collection is a little bit lighter than what it used to be because I've decluttered a lot of fragrances that I just felt like I was on the fence with. I'm not on the fence with this. I'm not. She is beautiful. I feel like because she's been sitting for a little bit, I feel like she's gotten a little bit more potent because baby, she is kicking right now. Like, yes, Kasili. I love this. I love this. Oh, with all my heart. It is just so precious and just so beautiful. Definitely a fragrance I would take with me if when, let me put it in my mouth, okay? Speak it into existence. This is definitely a fragrance I would take with me when I go to Hawaii, okay? All right, I'm manifesting that. I'm manifesting a birthday trip to Hawaii. So definitely taking a bottle of Kasili because I feel like it's just going to go with the vacation vibes. I honestly do. Love it. If you guys have this fragrance, you feel like it gives you like a tropical feel, comment down below. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you care that it actually doesn't last long? Let me know in the comments, okay? Because in all honesty, I don't care. I would just respray this as many times as I need to because... Honey, she is beautiful. Casili by Pop Bombs de Marley. Okay, so this next fragrance I bought maybe about, it's been over a year since I've had it. This is Very Good Girl Glam. I think this fragrance has been discontinued or is about to be discontinued. I feel like because 
when I went to go smell the newest version of Good Girl, y'all know the one in the all pink bottle, I feel like the sales associate said that this was going to be discontinued because I felt like they kind of smelled the same. I know a lot of y'all commented and said that they don't smell the same, but my nose kind of picks up the same DNA. But I bought this one uh, about a year ago because I was looking for a signature summer fragrance. I actually like this fragrance and I wore it quite a bit last summer. And now it doesn't give you the tropical feels, okay? But it gives me this fresh floral feel. Like you're walking in um, this beautiful, exotic, you know, rainforest, okay? Like there's a lot of green plants, deep green, beautiful plants. You see all these exotic flowers around you. It's just giving you very tropical esque. I feel like it's the lily. The lily, you know, have you ever, you guys ever smelled, is it called a stargazing lily? I'm gonna pop up a picture of that flower. I think it is one of the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen in my life. I love the colors, it looks very exotic. And those are like the type of flowers that you would find when you're walking in this exotic, beautiful, tropical, area okay our garden i feel like the vetiver is adding to that it's giving me something earthy a little bit dry and i like i like the vetiver in here the cherries in here are very sour okay it's not a sweet cherry fragrance not to my nose anyway and i feel like in combination with that sour cherry the lily in the vetiver is giving me like a very tropical vacation feel. I'm in Bali, okay? Y'all seen the pictures of Bali where it's nothing but green forest. They're on this big ass swing, swinging in these long pretty dresses. You got your hotel room and a little pool like right out there in the patio area and they bring you this little tray with your brunch or breakfast on it and it has these little tropical flowers on the tray. Yeah, there y'all feeling me, there y'all with me. That is the feel with this fragrance. It's fresh, it's fruity, it's floral, it's a little nutty from the tonka. It is just... It's a little sour, which I like, oddly enough, but this is a really great fragrance. I think this is probably one of my favorite flankers. Of course, I love the original uh, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Y'all know I love the Legere, and I feel like Very Good Girl Glam is like number three that I really do enjoy. I like this a lot. Greenwich Village by bond number nine i bought it in a trio set uh, for my birthday last year and in route a little bit of it has spilled and when i tell you guys i could smell this fragrance in my little perfume area for weeks weeks the longevity on this fragrance is everlasting okay it is eternal it's one of my favorite fragrances from Bond 9. In this fragrance, you're gonna get notes of lychee, cassis, mandarin orange, in the middle, peony, water lily, jasmine. In the base, you're gonna get ambroxan, praline, vanilla, musk, and oak moss. What's so interesting about this fragrance to me, it doesn't have any notes in it that I feel like would be tropical tropical fruity notes like mango or coconut but to my nose i pick up a mango or a coconut and there's none of that in this fragrance i don't know how they do it even the lychee smells different from lychee that i'm used to smelling okay because i when i think about lychee i think about the lychee that's in angel nova or in delina um you know fragrances like that this lychee i feel like is one of the sweetest lychees that i've smelled in a fragrance and i love lychee i love it in cocktails i like to just eat it by itself 
I like that fruit. I'm going to say it's probably one of the most realistic lychees that I've ever smelled in a fragrance. And it has water lily in it. It's a fresh and fine, soft, aquatic, floral fragrance. So no wonder why I smell water lily in fragrances and I instantly feel like exotic something exotic something aquatic but not oceanic you know what i mean i think the oak moss too helps this fragrance to give it that aquatic wet watery type of feel y'all know oak moss does that for me too praline mixed in with the vanilla is giving this fragrance something sweet and creamy and then it has ambroxan in it y'all know i love ambroxan but this is definitely pretty. This is like a fresh, sweet, tropical, creamy scent. And I actually love it. One of my favorite Bond Knots. I think I like this one more than I like Tribeca, if I'm being honest. They're very much neck and neck, but I like Greenwich Village way more than I like Tribeca. Tribeca reminds me of Baccarat in a way. Not 100%, but it has those feels. But I love this fragrance. If you guys have this fragrance, please comment below. Let me know what you think about it. But again, this is Greenwich Village from Bond Number no. 9. Hmm, mmm. Man, I just want to spray that all over my body. And now that I'm wearing a wig, I do spray fragrances in my hair. Not in my real hair, but I do spray fragrances in my wigs because I feel like it just gives it creates a big scent bubble and so i'm happy that i'm back wearing wigs i don't know how long i'm gonna be wearing a wig probably all summer child i keep looking at myself in this camera over here because who is this woman who is this woman harpo child i look like i look like my mama them people that's who i look like you know what's so funny my grandma used to wear her hair flipped like this too a little bit so it's really reminded me of my grandma and she had red nails too my grandma was a big advocate of this shape nail and red nails and this hairstyle i'm becoming my grandmother so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment down below if you have any of the fragrances I discussed in this video. Let us know how you feel about them. Also, let me know what fragrances you feel like are very tropical vacation fragrances. I want to know. I may add it to my collection. At least go out and smell it. You never know. I'm always adding and getting rid of and y'all know how I do go back and forth. But yeah. Hit the comment section, let us know. If you're into fragrances, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notification bells. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss out. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I feel like I, I almost forgot to tell y'all. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It is super important for the growth of my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are having a beautiful day. And I hope you are smelling good doing it. I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.